that I think have? that what I wrote in the book was that I had written to my master and asked him to um, pierce the knots in my heart. Yes. And that I didn't know I had knots in my heart. I didn't even know it I, until I had written it down. Yes. Uh, and then when I wrote it down and I, and I reread what I wrote and tried to understand the meaning, I understood that yes, there, there were places in me and of course places are not in locales. This is just a way of speaking. You can't locate, but you can, can identify that there were places in my being where I felt <clears throat> separated, distanced from myself, um, uh, in comparison with others, maybe projection, these kinds of things mm -hmm. where uh, I decide uh, that I am, uh, I am better, worse, worthy, not worthy, uh, don't like, do like, all of these kinds of things. And uh, I realized that those places had to be relaxed yeah. and um, dissolved. It's still being judgmental in some way. Huh? I think we need to be uh, discerning. Uh, judgmental and discerning being different. Judgmental meaning I decide that I don't like your shoes or your voice is squeaky or something really stupid, you know, that doesn't even really matter. Where discernment means... Uh, There's difference. Yeah, it, it, it shows that, you know, okay, this person's a thief. So what you will not do is leave your safe door open. But uh, when you live in your heart, you close the door of your safe for their benefit as well as your own and see them for who they are, not mm -hmm. for what they do. And this is a this is a quite a relief, mm -hmm. and it's it's the, really the only way to actually live. Because what if he does break into your house? Then then he does. Yes. But I have not uh, helped him with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if he does break into his my house, it still doesn't change who he is in his essence. Mm -hmm. And when you live really out of your heart and an open mind, heart means wisdom. Mm, open mind means that you begin to see through your own uh, limiting ideas. Uh, so when you live like that, if he breaks into your house, there's compassion, which is natural, and a deeper seeing, which is also natural, and, this, and the discernment that this is a thief. You know, or at least he's living the part of a thief right now. And let him have what he takes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. My my question about getting more more, more connected to the heart or free, living more from the heart. I believe well, meditation is of course one of the the ways, but um, it's also seeing through all this thinking, all this right uh, that you consider as. An important part in order yes. to get to get to the heart Absolutely. is another way to open up the knots yeah. in the heart. I mean, just watch your thinking. Yeah. Observe yourself, and when you when you make uh, some error, meaning you fall back into the same old kind of thinking that causes you to feel as though you're a separate being from your experience or from anyone else, then you just acknowledge that thought. Ah, uh -huh. this is what brought me here. Uh, mm -hmm. And you have, again, opened the, your heart to compassion for yourself. Because all of this, all of this is just uh, self-initiation through the experience of a human, uh, being a human, through birth to death. And uh, we're all going through the same thing. All of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I discovered that when I ask the assembly who sits with me, who has had the challenge of self-love, everyone has always raised their hand throughout the world. Yeah. So that's, that's, in a way, that's, well, that's revealing, but it's also very relieving to know that I'm not the only one, and I'm not alone in this, that this is actually a human initiation uh, into the divine, means undivided quality of my self-nature. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you, you be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, be true to yourself, watch yourself, catch those places where you judge other people for no reason, 
but just for basic entertainment or habit. Yeah, or feeling better. Or yeah, or feeling <laughs> worse. Because whoever is going to elevate themselves higher is definitely going to go the next day that somebody's more beautiful, they're more shapely, they're more intelligent, they have more money, whatever. The comparisons are always up and down. There's never a constant looking down at your nose at someone. Never. It's always like this. And, and those 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 places are absolutely immaterial and absolutely uh, uh, devastating mm -hmm. to your to your uh, to being in touch with yourself. They're devastating. It's like going to war with yourself. Wow. Yeah. And we do that all the time. Yeah, we do it all the time because we're taught to do that. So when you when you um, when you get the notion that there's something within you that's much more, much wiser, much deeper, much more open, then already you've had an initiation. You've had an initiation means a new, a new pathway, huh? Mm -hmm. And then you begin to uh, find that as a very wonderful, wonderful uh, friend, this initiation as your best friend. You you must have read in there. I said it's like a it's like a lonely lover waiting for attention. Uh, so and then you begin to love yourself, uh, and it's not narcissistic love. It's it's a love of of the true nature of being, uh, and you begin to appreciate that, and it starts to emerge from you, little by little. And the more patient you are, and the kinder you are to yourself, and the more compassionate you are, you're learning very well.